Good evening. I'd like to introduce uh, the Art and Design School panel members. On our, um, at least on my top left, is Dr. Rebecca Mayo, who's the convener of the Bachelor of Visual Arts degree. Um, below her on my screen is Dr. Robert Wellington. Robert's the director of the Centre for Art History and Theory. Uh, next to Robert is, is Peter Tankovic Gallic, who's uh, the administrative uh, person who's going to help out with all those tricky questions that academics can't answer tonight. Um, below Peter is another Peter, Dr. Peter Alwast, who is head of painting and the convener of the uh, Masters of Contemporary Art Practice. And next to Peter is Dr. Pia Van Gelder, who is the can uh, lecture into the school ahead of the design um, degree and uh, or convener of the design degree, and uh, Peter will be uh, Peter will be talking to you about uh, that degree tonight as well. So um, to get things started, I'd just like to ask Rebecca if she could uh, just introduce the Bachelor of Visual Arts for us. Thanks very much, Rod. So welcome and Yuma, everybody. Um, Yuma is the Nunawal language word for hello, and um, the ANU School of Art and Design is located on the traditional lands of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people here in Canberra. Um, and in this image here, there are screen printed letters, screen printed with metal salts um, in our screen printing studios, and these fabric um, swatches have then been dyed with natural dye using plants collected from country outside from the Ngunnawal and Ngambri lands. So um, I'd like to acknowledge um, elders, past, present and emerging, and um, all Indigenous peoples from wherever you might be who are with us tonight. Um, so I'm just going to give a really quick overview of the um, Bachelor of Design, a oh, Bachelor of Visual Arts degree, um, and starting here with um, a quick snapshot of most, I hope all of our Bachelor of Visual Arts team, except there are more people who work in the program teaching casually and um, guest lectures and so on. Um, our program is a dynamic studio-based visual art program, and we have um, we have a single degree in which you can do a range of different um, classes at three different levels. So for each year level, we have a, a 1,000 level, 2,000 and 3,000 level courses. So you can take these different level courses across different years of your study, but they indicate introductory, intermediate and then capstone courses. Um, and so we've got amazing facilities here across print, textiles, glass, painting, ceramics, photography, um, and sculpture. And we also have two VR studios and a green screen studio, sound recording and a screening room and Mac computer labs. Um, and there's other things as well that I don't have time to go into. But our program is also informed by contemporary practice and what that might mean. And while for a lot of people, they may choose to specialize in one discipline in particular, many contemporary artists work across disciplines and adjust their approaches to different projects, um, depending on what they're doing, their methodologies and their materials. So our program, um, we hope enables both specialization, but also experiencing lots of different um, studio areas as well. So the big question then, if we're informed by contemporary art, what is contemporary art really? And the Walker Art Centre in Minneapolis, USA, thinks that the answer is simple um, and that contemporary art is art made today by living artists, reflecting complex issues that shape our diverse, global and rapidly changing world. Um, exploring personal or cultural identity, critiquing social and institutional structures, or even attempting to redefine art itself. Um, and in the process, often raising difficult or thought-provoking questions without necessarily providing easy answers. So we could debate what contemporary art is all day, but with those ideas in mind, we really try and build our degree around 
um, encouraging students to be curious, open-minded, and we want our graduates to be ready for the world and to bring their critical thinking and their artistic methodologies to whatever they may end up doing. Um, and to then contribute back to um, contemporary culture in wonderful and meaningful ways. So also at the ANU, we have the flexible double degree, which is any combination of degrees across the whole university. And this can be a really wonderful way to enrich your visual art education um, with sort of a complementary or um, subject area. And this is just a screenshot of the Bachelor of Visual Arts um, web page. And if you have a look at this, you can read more details about the program and just make sure that you choose the academic year that you're starting or going to be going into um, to see what's what. Um, and here's, I'll just flick through a few slides here. So in our ceramic studio, we do a lot of traditional, um, so-called traditional crafting and making processes, but also we've got some cl uh, clay 3D printer. Um, and I think this is sort of an interesting an intersection between one of the oldest materials that people have used to create um, objects and then this contemporary um, digitally di driven technology. And then on the other side here, we've got um, a group of print students being human printers, where instead of using a machine to print the colour separations of the cyan, magenta, yellow and black, um, they are themselves um, being the printers with some bingo pens. Um, okay. And finally, I just wanted to mention some of our, one an example of one of our engagement courses where we kind of extend the um, experience of art school out into the world. And this is one of our environment studios where people go on country and um, learn about Indigenous practices and Indigenous knowledges and um, make artwork on country. And finally, if you're around in Canberra in, um, on the 1st of December, come to our grad show. It's always a fun time. And you can always get in touch with me with any questions you've got. If you're on campus and I'm not in my office or the print or textile studio, you may find me in the dye and fibre garden. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. And, and uh, now we head to uh, Pia to introduce the Bachelor of Design. Thanks, Pia. Hi, everyone. Firstly, I want to acknowledge that we're on the unceded lands of the Ngunnawal um, Nambri people. Um, and um, I want to acknowledge um, uh, elders past and present and emerging and um, uh, that this land always was and always will be a um, so I'm Pia Van Gelder, the convener of the Bachelor of Design program. Um, and in a similar fashion, I'll proceed um, to tell you a bit about our program. Um, so we have a diverse team of um, staff that teach into the program. Um, some sit um, solely within design and others work across uh, different disciplines at the school uh, between the visual arts and design. Um, and the Bachelor of Design at ANU is um, actually quite a, a new degree in the scheme of things. This will be in 2024, sorry, uh, will be our eighth intake. Um, probably uh, I'd say what differentiates the degree or the program from other bachelors of design that you might take elsewhere um, is its versatility, its flexibility, um, that it is in the rich context of ANU and that again it is informed by contemporary practice. What do we mean by contemporary practice? Well with traditional design when we think about traditional design we would think about something graphics or product design or interiors or buildings. Um, but contemporary design is far more complex um, and we actually find that um, people uh, are developing all kinds of different fields within or sub-disciplines within design. We have things like education design, software design, experience design, game design, lighting, uh, robot design, organ design. Um, so th 
there's it's obviously a very rapidly changing field design um and um what we found is that um in a similar way to contemporary artists designers also work across many different fields um within their sub uh, within their you know discipline but also outside of their discipline um and one uh, thinker we like to uh, reference when we're thinking about this is um, uh, Rogers and Bremer, two, two designers who proposed this um, framework, this idea of the undisciplined designer. The undisciplined designer is a researcher, a practitioner who purposely blurs distinctions and has exchanged discipline-based methods for issue or project-based ones. And this is vital, this is key to how we structure our program at ANU for um, uh, the Bachelor of Design in that we are interested in building a cohort and, um, and training designers to be issue-based, to be project-based. Um, so an issue will call on a set of methods that might be um, a diverse set of methods. They might relate to many of these fields. Um, so for that reason, we don't actually ask students to have a major in a specific area of design, like you won't um, be asked to, to, to major in graphic design. Instead, you do, um, you do that with your own thinking. You actually develop your own hybrid path to um, develop the skill sets that you want to in order to be the designer that you want to do to, to be. Um, and how you do that could be through lots of different ways of engaging in contemporary design, which is what we find in, in the real world, but also what we find in, in, at ANU. So through making, um, and that could be digital or material, through transdisciplinary practice or working through different disciplines and modalities, um, through research, uh, driven. So in, in the context of ANU, a research-based university, a research-driven university, that um, seems very fitting. And then also in an engaged way, meaning engaged with the real world. So we're bringing in partners, we're bringing in real problems from, um, from the world around us and engaging with them in meaningful ways. Um, the kinds of different uh, methodologies that we uh, teach within the discipline um, can be seen, you know, you could sit, you could, you could list them so this is not exhausting. Um, and then also students um, have the opportunity to take electives elsewhere. In fact, what we find is probably more than half of our students in our, um, in our program are doing flexible, what we call flexible double degrees at ANU. Um, so we have a lot of um, designers that are actually reaching out to other disciplines outside of design um, to become very hybrid in a sense. Um, of course, if you want to hear more or get to the nitty gritty details, I definitely recommend looking at the program on programs and courses. But just to break it down really briefly, um, this is what a program would look like in terms of its requirements. So we have 36 units of compulsory design courses. So they're things um, like, for instance, um, a design history course, um, a, a first year course about what contemporary design is. Um, there are also capstone courses that you take at the very end of your degree that help you shape your own specific portfolio, unique portfolio, um, and lots of stuff in the middle, including 12 units of theory and concepts courses that reach across um, the whole of the College of Arts and Social Sciences. So you have a long, exhaustive list that we can choose from if you do, if you're doing anything from anthropology um, to art history. And um, then also uh, we complement our degree uh, by asking you to take um, art student courses as well to get, get keep that hands-on uh, focus. Um, and this is how a program might look um, throughout the progression. Um, and that you can see those colors reflected there um, if you were to choose to take the full time pilot load. Um, the different courses that we teach, say for instance, next semester, um, we have uh, some um, mandatory first year courses like visual communication, passes prototype, which is the 
this group designed a course um, we do digital form fabrication where students learn how to fabricate um, uh, um, design for fabrication. So using um, laser cutters, um, uh, 3D printers, etc. Um, also created code, learn how to code um, to, to create uh, media, responsive media and um, speculative and critical design. So these are kind of discourses and methods and modalities of engaging with the design um, in, a con in, in a contemporary way. Um, but I won't go through this whole list because that would take too long. Um, but instead, uh, what I would do just to, to, to say, um, to finish is also um, something unique about the design degree at ANU is that we're a very small cohort. We're very select about who we admit into, um, into the degree. We um, have somewhere between 40 to 50 people per year. So that means that the actual um, group of people um, you, you actually study with, um, we have more face-to-face -face time with your tutors, you develop uh, uh, and lectures, you develop a more um, uh, familiar um, uh, relationship with your teachers and um, also with your cohort. Um, and it means that um, students actually have yeah, the time and space to really grow and develop in the way that they want to in a unique um, fashion. So that's how I'll, I'll round it up. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. Uh, next, um, I invite Peter Alwast to talk about the Masters of Contemporary Arts Practice. Hi, everyone. Um, as that screen button loads, I also want to acknowledge the Ngunnawal Nambri um, people and that I'm on unceded land sitting here in my studio looking west on what looks like a promised storm that has broken up um, and no rain coming. Um, is that um, showing uh, that? Showing on my screen, but... Okay, great. Well, I can't see okay. it. It's sort of frozen, but um, I'll just launch into it. The, the Master of Contemporary Art Practice is essentially aimed at artists who want to develop a more ambitious, independent contemporary art practice perhaps after some time away from study, or um, if you've been involved in a cognate degree. Um, the program is aimed at extending students' practical, theoretical and conceptual knowledge in order to develop a deeper understanding of contemporary art practice. And also this sort of very important thing of how to contextualize your practice in, in, in relation to this very complex problem of what is contemporary art and contemporary art essentially means contemporaneity means simultaneity. So contemporary art isn't by consensus. There's a lot of uh, single things going on uh, simultaneously uh, in contemporary art. So I'll just uh, flick back here. Essentially how the program works is a full-time intensive program over 12 months. Uh, you can choose to reduce your load, but um, a lot of students just do it a uh, single uh, year through. So semester one, um, you would enroll in methodologies of, of contemporary art practice. And in that course, you would be exposed to um, a series of lectures, a, a seminar that uh, involves uh, group critiques, uh, visiting lecturers, um, but also giving you a certain range of tools to start to generate some language around your work and being able to contextualize it in a contemporary context. Um, the important thing about the Master of Contemporary Art Practice is that it's uh, the best way to think about it is a year long intensive project uh, on which you work. And so uh, semester one and semester two are very similar to each other. Um, and they are, like I mentioned, um, based on strategies of getting you to focus on your work in a way that um, perhaps is difficult to if you have been out of uh, study for a while or if you're a sole practitioner wanting to uh, uh, move forward to another level. Um, and the first semester would include 18 units. Um, there is a uh, autumn intensive that is writing about practice-led research. Um, this is six units and uh, very um, intensively involved with 
exegetical writing. Exegetical writing comes from your practice. So we give um, you the skills, the, the framework and the context to get some language around uh, the work that you're producing. And then semester two is essentially a continuation of semester one, where you continue developing your project um, and you're exposed to a range of contemporary art practice. Um, again, visiting lecturers, um, group critiques, um, and, 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 and a series of theoretical lectures. I'll just show you quickly, I only have two slides. Um, so the next slide is just a series of works that um, just demonstrate a few people that are in, in, enrolled or actually completing the Master of Contemporary Art Practice. If you don't know already, our graduate show is uh, on the 1st of December, Friday the 1st of December, uh, and you'll be able to see Masters of uh, Contemporary Art and Honours students in the School of Art Gallery, as well as all of our undergraduate students uh, distributed around the school. Um, so very quickly, this just shows you, um, <laughs> Um, I don't know what's happening. Did that end or? Those images should be showing now. Um, if they're showing, let me know. I just see a blank, a black screen. Um, in any case, there we go. Um, so, uh, a selection of students from uh, graduating this year, Megan Kennedy, who's working in textiles, uh, working with found um, textiles, but also working in a very intensive way to uh, dye and manipulate the textiles and um, very much interested in generating a, a, a psychological landscape, um, to put it very quickly. Uh, we also have Lee Jury, who's working with uh, found clay or wild clay, uh, working in dialogue with, um, if you like, uh, suburban developments and uh, a sense of materiality. Uh, David Healy on the right down there, um, mature age student who's um, also a lawyer, uh, has, has, has served as a soldier in Afghanistan and is working on a post uh, PSD project. And he's um, essentially interested in uh, capturing a certain sense of emotion um, of um, survivors of P PTSD. Um, and Daniela Diaz down at the bottom, uh, working in textiles uh, and, and, and sculpture essentially and found objects, very much um, interested in, in, in craft practices, but also uh, influenced by feminist um, practice and interested in um, reworking the textiles of her mother her mother who, um, her elderly mother from Uruguay. Um, so a very complex project based on, on, on um, interge intergenerational dialogue. So Master of Contemporary Art Practice is available. Just Google it on ANU, you'll find the link and then you'll also find my email if you have any questions, thanks. Thank you, Peter. And uh, it's now over to Robert. Uh, Robert Wellington to introduce the Centre of Art History and Theory um, contributions to the our um, our Bachelor of Visual Arts and Design degree. Now, this, the Centre of Art History and Theory really makes a fabulous sort of theoretical and historical contribution to the uh, the degree. So, I'm going to let Robert talk a little bit about ask Robert to talk a little bit about that. Hi, everybody. I'm going to echo, I'm going to go quickly because I realise that we're going a little over time, but um, I'm going to echo everybody's comments of acknowledgement of our country, acknowledging the Nanahal and Nambri people here uh, where our campus is based and pay my respects to um, traditional custodians past and present and any Indigenous people here. As uh, Rod said, uh, I'm the director of the Centre for Art, History and Art Theory at ANU. We have a whole program, we don't have uh, an undergraduate degree, but we offer a major and minor that can sit within other degrees, including the Bachelor of Visual Arts and Bachelor of Design and so on via your electives. We can also sit within the Bachelor of Arts degree. There are a couple of courses that we do offer that are part of the Bachelor of Visual Arts degree, and that's our first year courses. I'm just showing you a slide here. I hope you can all see. Um, this is an example of 
one of the times we've, we've been lucky enough to get away and take students over to France. Um, and you're seeing here, we're actually standing in the Serre uh, porcelain manufactory in France for our students. That's something that we, we think is one of the best things that we can do together. But just to give you a little bit of a sense of the kinds of courses that we offer as part of a, um, a major and minor and how that works in terms of the discipline, we offer two 1000 level courses. Those are the courses that can also sit within the Bachelor of Visual Arts degree. You'll, you'll, as you come to understand our program at ANU, you notice that we code things in a sort of a first year course is a 1000 level, second year course, roughly speaking, second and third year is 2000 level. And then we have these capstone courses that we call 3000 level courses, and we want you to progress through those. So we have that kind of pathway um, in art history and curatorial studies separately. So you can actually come and do a degree, take a major and, and make your way through. And you can end up doing an honours with us and doing a thesis topic in art history history or in fact going on and doing a coursework masters or doing an advanced masters and if you really like studying art history and curatorial studies maybe a PhD one day. Um, but just to give you a very quick overview of the kinds of courses you can take as electives and the kinds of things that you can add to your programs in, in Bachelor of Visual Arts, Bachelor of Design, um, you can see the courses. I'm, I'm just showing you the next three years of teaching here on this slide. So um, in semester one, we've got the 1001. That's one of the first year art history courses that can sit within the Bachelor of Visual Arts. Um, and you'll see in semester two, we've got 1007, another art history and curatorial studies um, first year course. Now, these these are broad courses that introduce you to history, theory and method of um, works of art, so so everything back to ancient Rome, uh, to thinking about deep history in terms of First Nations and Indigenous knowledges, um, through to the Renaissance, through to the 18th century, 19th century, our colonial context here in Australia, and up to modern art in Europe and America, and then art, contemporary art of the present day. So we want to give you a little bit of a taste of, of the kind of big picture of the history of art, but also of the ideas that connect to the, his, the history of art between the sorts of things that connect, let's say you're, you're somebody who um, wants to have an arts practice, how you might think about your own practice in relation to what's come before, or indeed in relation to the kinds of ideas that might inform your practice, be they ideas that come from history or ideas that come from theoretical study and different approaches, things like feminist theory or queer theory, um, all sorts of different ways of approaching the work of art. So we offer a, a very sort of brief overview of that in the first year units, and then you can go on and take some really wonderful electives. So for example, let me just pick out a couple here. We've got things like um, issues in contemporary craft and design, which is a semester long course that gets you to sort of look at different ways to think about craft and design. Uh, art and the body, gender and sexuality. So thinking about the way that the body has worked uh, has been used by artists and designers over time and how that relates to ideas of feminist critique and queer critique and sexuality and so on. Uh, we've got art of the multiple, thinking about multiplicity and seriality in works of art. And of course, I'm excited about because I'll be teaching it for the first time next year, uh, fashion histories. So thinking about uh, all aspects of worn art, if you like, in, in a sort of a brief and broad history, both theoretically, uh, sort of historically, theoretically, methodologically as well. Um, so uh, I don't have a lot of time, but um, just to give you a sense that, you know, we've got a one year honours programme that can lead on. We have a it's like a little bit like the uh, degree that um, Peter Aldast introduced to you tonight. We have a Master of um, Art History and Curatorial um, Studies, which is also it can be a year long full time course or you can take it over longer time. And that's offered as a, a series of seminars. And we also offer an in-country course for that um, each year uh, and an internship can be taken as part of that, too. Um, here's a little bit of a brief overview of the courses that you can take, the seminar courses you can take as uh, an honours or master's student. Um, there's a lot of information there. I think it's probably best uh, if I address any questions that you have directly, and I'll hand back over to my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, just before we watch the application video, I'd just like to share with you some information about flexible double degrees. And prior to doing that, just to echo um, the sentiments of the other panel members um, and acknowledge the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people on whose land the university uh, functions, you will learn, um, we study, we research, et cetera, on these um, unceded uh, traditional lands and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. 
So this particular website, uh, which is um, linked below the video that we will show you um, shortly, and uh, we'll provide you some other access information. Um, uh, we'll, we'll provide information about how to access other um, important links to do with applying for degrees at uh, the School of Art and Design. Um, and the double degrees, but this is a particular, it's a great starting point for working out just what type of flexible double degree um, you might wish to study. There's a huge range of options available to you at ANU. So I'm just going to quickly click through this. When you click on a flexible double degree, you're prompted to actually find a degree. So you search there for something that you're interested in. You can actually find an existing degree or simply you can click one of these field buttons such as um, uh, art, society and culture. That's something we're all, I think, interested in because we're here tonight. And then you can choose a topic from one of the, from this list. Um, I'm going to scroll down and choose, uh, I could choose digital arts, I could choose design arts, design, um, whichever you choose. And I'm going to click on design. You'll then see down the bottom, there's a couple of undergraduate degrees that you can select from you can select from bachelor of design or bachelor of visual arts both those degrees contain content that's um, related to design in some way so let's click for in this case we'll click on the vis bachelor of visual arts and then it takes me back to this option to be able to find a compatible um, degree to make up the second part of your double degree so if i click on that then this little diagram comes up again. In this case, I think I'll, what I'll click on natural, physical, and environmental sciences. And I'm going to choose an area from this huge array of um, field options. So I'll choose um, evolution and ecology. And down the bottom here, once again, it gives me some degree options that uh, uh, where you study those fields. I'll choose the Bachelor of Science. And it now creates a special program um, which combines the Bachelor of Visual Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. It gives you a brief overview of those degrees there. And then if I click on the study plan and program details, it will then take me to a complete list of requirements for that degree. And if I just quickly go through, uh, scroll down through that, um, you will see... Uh, You'll see under this overview, you've got an overview banner, um, admissions and fees, the actual study program requirements, and advice for selecting your first year uh, courses. So I'm just going to click on study, and you'll see that it then gives you the number of units that you need to complete for uh, to, to satisfy the requirements for the Bachelor of Science Flexible Double Degree component, 96 units, and how that's broken up with a series of courses there, which you can click on and it will take you through to a descriptor of those courses. There are a few rules around how those 96 units need to be completed, but I'm going to scroll past all of those options, past the science options and down here, uh, I can come across the Bachelor of Visual Arts flexible double degree components, which also requires 96 units. And below that, it goes through the various options of course selection and the, that's required to complete that program. So that is actually, if you're still trying to decide which of the double degrees you might want to combine together, that's an excellent tool and I'd recommend starting at that particular point. And we're going to jump into, I'm going to share it again. I'm just going to start this video, which is... This is actually a premiere of a new video we've developed, which guides you through the application uh, process for one of our degrees, gives you tips on on uh, preparing, on, on both applying, preparing a portfolio and the interview um, and the pre-recorded interview that you're asked to create. Welcome to the ANU School of Art and Design. 
In this video, we'll give you an overview of how to apply for a place in one of our degrees, the Bachelor of Visual Arts, the Bachelor of Design, the Masters of Contemporary Art Practice degree, or a flexible double degree that includes the Visual Arts or Design. Each degree has a different page, Bachelor of Visual Arts, Bachelor of Design, and Master of Contemporary Art Practice. If you're applying for a flexible double degree and one or both of your degrees is the Bachelor of Visual Arts or the Bachelor of Design, you will apply via the ANU Flexible Double Degree Applications webpage. Following this, you can submit your portfolio and interview video. If you are applying for a Bachelor of Arts majoring in Art History and Curatorship, you do not submit a portfolio or interview. For a single arts degree, you will apply via the Bachelor of Arts webpage. Or, if you are doing a double, you will apply via the Flexible Double Degree webpage. Check your degree application page and the deadlines on your degree application start page. Click the application link for your chosen degree. Once you've completed and lodged the form, ANU will send you an email with your registration details. Next, you will use your registration details to log on to the Embark application website. This is where you can upload your prepared portfolio and interview video. That's it. Now your application is complete. The university will email you the results of your application. If you are offered a place, you will have a certain amount of time to accept the place. Make sure you check the dates and deadlines for accepting your spot. It offers an opportunity to communicate your interests, achievements, passion and potential through a selection of art and design works or studies you have created. This collection of work will tell a story about you. So think about what works you include and how you arrange them. The content you include should demonstrate your ideas, motivations, imagination, abilities and commitment to art and design. There is no restriction on the media you, you can include and you may submit works in progress. Media choices available to you include painting, graphics, digital art and design, creative code, 3D modelled works, product design, prototypes, works of ceramic, metal, wood and textile, sculpture, drawing, installations, photography, video, performance and much more. It's important to include sketches or diagrams showing ideas relating to the works you select. This may also be a page from your visual journal or an assignment worksheet. Document the details of each work in your portfolio. Indicate the work title, date, medium and size, and your role in its making or production. Include a one-sentence description of your role in any collaborative work presented. In showing us your creative journey to date, it's important to highlight your engagement with art and design generally, your curiosity, thinking, imaginative resourcefulness, and creative tenacity. It's good to include work you've done outside of course requirements, works inspired by visits to galleries and other events. This shows your initiative and collectively presents a portfolio demonstrating commitment and vision. School of Art and Design degrees don't have majors. This gives you opportunity to specialise or study a number of different disciplines. You can also choose electives from across a huge range of university-wide courses. Once you have decided what to include, photograph your works using good lighting. Arrange them in a thoughtful way to present something you will be proud of. Please take note of the following specific portfolio requirements for each degree. Bachelor of Visual Arts. We welcome diverse works in any medium, physical or digital. Your portfolio can include any of the following. Drawings, designs and sketches, physical models, marquettes, 2D work, 3D work, computer graphics, videos, animations, websites, sound works, photographs, documentation of audio, visual or performance work, visual diary, journal, and or blog social media site. Bachelor of Design. We welcome diverse works in any medium, physical or digital. Examples include drawing, models, prototypes, websites, magazines, books, animation, video, photography, games, and interactive apps. Consider including other documents that demonstrate your interest and ability to think analytically about design, such as blogs, essays, presentation, and posters. The Master of Contemporary Art Practice portfolio should include a range of images and or recent video works. 
It should also include an image list comprising the details of each work in your portfolio. Include the title of the work, the artist's name, the date, medium and the size of the work, and clearly indicate your role in the making or production, such as photographer, designer, production assistant, printer, artist. The interview video is a short pre-recorded video presentation you make in response to our interview questions. The interview questions are found in a document via the file attachments link at the bottom of the SOAD website application page. We are interested in the quality of your verbal responses. Your videos will not be assessed on the production quality. The way you make and present your video will give us an insight into who you are, what you value, your interests, ambitions, and what's important to you in the world. The review panel is looking for demonstrations of your practical skills, as well as evidence of resolved ideas, critical and creative thinking, and importantly, looking for students who can demonstrate they are ready to commit their time and energy and passion to study at ANU. Videos can be recorded using a phone, a laptop, or a video camera, or any other form of video recording device. The video should be between 5 to 10 minutes long and interviewers will stop watching at the 10 minute mark. Record in a well lit, comfortable location with low background noise. Videos do not have to include examples of your work, although it is often useful to have your portfolio handy to refer to. Videoing yourself in your work area or a space showing a selection of your works can help create a sense of atmosphere and your individuality. You could speak a narrative directly to camera, choose a documentary or a performative style of presentation. Use your imagination and let your personality come through and be sure to clearly communicate your response to the questions. The application review panel will view your uploaded digital portfolio and interview video. Two teaching staff at the School of Art and Design will review your portfolio and interview and make selection recommendations against the criteria. In summary, these are your interest in and engagement with art, design, society and culture, the calibre of your portfolio, skills and ideas, evidence of ambitious, independent, creative practice and thinking, and your ability to articulate ideas in relation to your own work and interests. A full copy of the admission rubric criteria and interview questions for the Bachelor of Design, Bachelor of Visual Arts, and Master of Contemporary Arts Practice can be found at the bottom of the relevant application page under File Attachments. We look forward to viewing your portfolio and video. If you have any questions or concerns, please email admin.somad at anu.edu.au.